Greetings everyone and welcome to MOI and this is Reed. Today we're going to continue on another 12 volt solar episode and today we're talking about grounding. Being well grounded is very important. That's why I try to get as close to the ground as possible so I feel well grounded. But, but in actuality what we're really after is protecting against lightning strikes and a really heavy lightning strike will really tear up everything. So you have to have a really good ground. However, the problem is, is most houses are grounded with just a standard ground rod driven into the ground. And if, if it was tested, which is rare for residential, best it worked was that day. Not any further than that. It's going to age, get bad, and just fall apart. Now where I'm at, the desert, ground rods out here don't work worth squat. <laughs> they get really bad quickly. The resistance drives up really fast and then you just have a very bad ground and so if you got a really good close lightning strike it will just tear everything to pieces at my office we actually have a lot of equipment damaged every year due to lightning problems so how can we solve that issue one of the best grounding systems you can use is called an oofer ground or as the national electric code calls it today a concrete encased electrode and so i'm building raised bed gardens out here due to soil problems that i will discuss in other videos but since i had to put down sidewalk and put down some other stuff i decided let's double this up how can we make things better for both things how can i put some concrete down and make a better ground so in this case it's laying a bunch of rebar so let me change the camera angle and let you look at it. Right here, I've got a bunch of rebar laid down. Now this rebar is actually welded together. Um, it's not as thick as what they often call, so I often I ran two sets of 3 8 rebar. Plus it's recycled rebar and really helps to save a little bit of money during that. But, so what this is, is it's laid down here and it gets covered with concrete. At the very end where I tie this in, there's going to be a piece sticking out of the concrete. Well, in this case, two pieces, since I'm using two 3 8 They're going to be tied into the electrical system with a uh, clamp that clamps onto the rebar. And then that goes up to the electrical panel, which forms the uh, connection to the ground bus. And this will actually be able to do a really good job. What's amazing about concrete is it readily absorbs moisture and then gives it up very slowly. Also, since concrete has a pH above seven, it tends to have a much, it have a large supply of electrons that can readily flow when you need them most. Like in this case, a lightning strike. What's also neat is in a desert climate and such, these uh, grounds perform really well. They were originally developed by the US Army for their munition stores out in Arizona. They had a lot of issues with things possibly static discharge and blowing everybody up. So they said, we need a solution. And the guy is named after Ufer came up with it. The other thing is the concrete will slowly dope the soil around it, also allowing it to better conduct electricity. They form a really nice ground. So since I had to lay down some sidewalk, I said, well, let's tie these together. And like Alton Brown, I hate unitaskers. So that's after this. That is it for this little episode. Talk about something called an oofer ground. As we hook everything up, you'll get to see that too. And soon we'll be going over more detailed of the solar system, starting with bus bars. Hope you liked the little video, and hopefully I'm getting a little better at this. <laughs> see you all later. And remember, imagine something and then manifest it.